I am your Lanello, and I come this day to bless you each one and the infinite light that I have been privileged to experience both on earth and especially within heaven. For the infinite light of God, the magnanimity of the divine presence is awesome. When you attune to this, when you invoke it, and especially when you tangibly feel it by raising your heart upward, your soul toward the sun, your mind toward the Logos, your will unto that eternal principle of light who is your source. Then, blessed ones, you will feel and know this cosmic reservoir of grace, this eternality that is the source of everything that is. Infinite light descend unto these your holy ones, O God, and ensconce within them the way, the truth, and the life of the Christ. Infinite light be born anew within their minds, their hearts, their wills, and stimulate them toward holy purpose, toward greater God accomplishment, and toward the fulfillment of their reason for being yet upon earth. Infinite light glorify your divine essence within their spirits, O Lord, and true them unto that holy will from which all may receive inspiration, guidance, and the endearing qualities that will lead them ever to the fount of this infinite light. Now as I see them sparkling anew in the brightness of their divine presence, restore unto this earth now the original blueprint, the divine architecture of the Infinite One. Let all mankind know the way, the truth, and the life that they are meant to experience each day, each hour within the God Presence that lives, moves, and has its being within them. And as the infinite light grows and expands, multiplies, and is magnified within their conscious lives, let the ascended master way be born anew upon earth and prove the dynamics of virtue, the way of the Essenes of old, and of today come again to prove this law of the one within. As you have broadcast light unto Peru this day, so, dearest ones, we over Lake Titicaca 
have expanded your visualization and magnified it unto the greatest quotient of cosmic fire allowed by divine law. And we have blessed every man, woman, and child, both in Peru and throughout South America, with this grace, this divine essence, this opportunity to know reality within. This gathering of initiates here in Livingston and online has also been an experiment this day in the cycle of Leo, where your hearts may be inspired by that greatest of all beasts in the sense of the heavenly way of love through gratitude, kindness, and intrepid longing to know God's heart, God's mind, God's will within. Yes, dearest ones, roar more often in celebrating the truth of who you are as a God, man, or woman, enlivened, christened, and invigorated by infinite light. If you would take simply a few moments of your time each day to consciously bask in the infinite light of the sun of your divine presence, all of your troubles would disappear. All of your burdens would be as naught because you would see with greater understanding why you are experiencing what you do and you would know the answer to all that is moving through you, coercing you, even caressing you unto your divine state of being. David sent an email early this morning to a devotee struggling because of the burdens upon her being her physical form, and even her spine. And he stated in conclusion that he was holding her in a vision of being a goddess, bright, beautiful, tall, and serene. And that he would hold this for every woman within this movement every daughter of God, as he prayed to the Divine Mother each day. Dearest ones, this is the type of commitment each of you must have, seeing the perfection of everyone, even those who press your buttons, who are not Christly in their communiques or their behavior patterns. For you have the wherewithal, you have the God power to strengthen souls from afar, to move them unto their own divine state of being because of the infinite light that you bear within your breast and that beats your heart and that stimulates you day after day to give your all to the universe and to all life evolving herein. The Masters have said time and again that you are, dearest ones, more powerful than you know in your eternal nature through your God presence and its bestowals of grace unto your lives. Yet you forget, you compromise, and you allow a lesser attitude to take hold and sway within your world at times, 
will I say, dearest ones, rise up as the phoenix and deliver unto all this infinite light and see the cosmic effects in your culture and your civilization manifesting because you each one have chosen to be a Christ, a Buddha, a Divine Mother in manifestation. Remember the first heart stream by the Master Cusco, given by David as the first public message to initiates of this hour. I recommend that you play it today after my message and attempt to feel what David felt as the presence of Cusco overshining him and establishing a matrix of light that would be the mission of a new amanuensis sent by us to deliver cosmic heart streams to some who would accept the dispensation and the graces offered therein. When you determine to be godlike, I am clearly is there with you, coalescing within your aura the golden light of illumination and clearing the way and clearing the air for you to feel God, to feel your divine selfhood anew each day and each hour. So celebrate the cycle of Leo by roaring with a new strength, vigor, and virya as you call forth the light, the infinite light of God into this world for transformational change and for victory to be manifest everywhere. So it is, I declare it, I aver it as your ever-present guru of love and truth. Thank you.